Hello, Facebook. Uh, this is Andy Grant. I am one of the founding members of Project Positive Change. It is my honor and privilege to be talking to you today. Um, I've been on the personal growth path and spiritual awareness path for, well, probably a good solid decade. And one thing I've noticed as I attended events for a long time was how few men were at these big live events you know, with Brenda Bouchard and Tony Robbins and Wayne Dyer and all sorts of Hay House events. There'd be very few men at them. Um, and as I began working as a coach and a speaker and a teacher, the, my, my audience, my clientele, was mostly made of, of women too. But this year has really called to, to make a space more for men. Because, you know, the traditional thinking and definition around what a real man meant just, just didn't seem to fit for me or for, for society for the rising level of consciousness in the world. You know, being a real man, the old definition is kind of like being stoic and silent and strong and, you know, walk softly and carry a big stick and, you know, being a pioneer and just living on your own, not needing anybody, being entirely self-resilient um, and not having that big of a range of emotions either. Uh, you know, a real man, a tough guy, you know, wasn't known for being emotional, wasn't known for being you know, funny or happy, adventurous, sad, grieving, right? It just wasn't part of the, the dialogue, the, the tradition of real men. And, and I, for one, just, just think that's a crock. You know, I do not believe that masculinity peaked in the 1800s with cowboys and lumberjacks and just people living off the land. I, I think men are much more than that. Because before being a man, I'm a human being. And all human beings have the right, the expectation, to experience all of their emotions. Right? Indeed, we were created to feel our full range of emotion. It's not as if women get some emotions and men get some emotions. No. We are all human beings. We are all entitled to feel the full range of emotion. And every emotion that we allow ourselves to feel actually does serve us, too. Right? It's, it's not that anger should be off-limits for anybody. It's not that depression should be off-limits for anybody. It's not that joy and happiness should be off-limits for anybody. So what if being a real man meant being vulnerable, being sensitive, being open, being emotional and loving? What if being a real man meant being brave and tough and feeling. That's the kind of man I strive to be. That's the kind of man I like to be surrounded by. So this year I've actually created a movement called Real Men Feel to give a space which really allowed and, in, and encouraging men to allow for and feel and express all of their emotions. It doesn't matter what it is. I've met guys that were punished as children for crying. That's just appalling. Right? You are a human being first and foremost. You were allowed and encouraged and created to feel. So all human beings are meant to feel, not just men. But I'm focusing on men because they're the ones that have been told the most not to feel. That it's somehow wrong. That it's somehow weak. And I know for myself, sometimes the bravest thing I could ever do was cry. Now, <laughs> in my teens and 20s, when I was crying, I certainly did not feel brave or courageous. But it's something that I saw in time. It's something that took other people looking at me, telling me how brave and courageous that was. It took a long time for me to accept that. Right? So Real Men Feel is a movement that I've, I've launched this year. We have a weekly live show on Blab. It's actually going to be today, Tuesday at 5 p.m. Eastern. Um, we'll be on Blab for the Real Men Feel show. I recently launched a website appropriately titled realmenfeel.org. You can go there, learn more information. You can find The Real Men Feel Show on iTunes. Just search for Real Men Feel. We also have a Facebook group, um, and it's open to men or women. Anyone supporting a space, anyone wanting a world where men are allowed to feel, right? Not a world where men are joking about rape, defending it, denying it, making excuses for it. No, it's not. A real man isn't about how many beers you can drink, how many women you can bed. It's how willing you are to feel to express your emotions. You know, I've had the privilege to speak to military audiences, and I've met some of the strongest, bravest, most courageous people on the planet. 
and they were terrified to feel, terrified to let anyone know about their own pain, their own worries, their concerns, even their own happiness. Right? There's a notion that a real man is supposed to be just really stoic and just flatline. It's bullshit. I love life when I am feeling. And I encourage you to feel more and to love life even more. So that's really all I wanted to share today. That I'm making this space for all men to feel and to be encouraged and allowed to express that feeling. Because all emotions do serve us. We are feeling beings. We are human beings. So give yourself the permission to feel. And I look forward to communicating with you on the Real Men Feel Blab today at 5 o'clock. Join the Real Men Feel Facebook group or check out realmenfeel.org. And uh, have a wonderful day. And feel. (laughs) Feel how wonderful today can be. All right. Thanks. Bye.